Morning. It's a bit of a change of plan. I thought I was sitting here and everything was getting loaded out at once, but it turns out everything's uh, coming out in two phases because whatever this event is, it's going to multiple different venues. Uh, and so, like, the first venue was big and then the second venue smaller, so they don't need everything. Um, so, there's been a bit of a change of plan. So, I had yesterday off working today, so I have to load up some stuff today. Uh, supposedly they're gonna let me stay down there and use their facilities so I don't have to do nothing and then they'll load up the next morning and then I should just wake up and my trucks fully loaded ready to go. That does however mean that uh, I need to buy another vignette. Nowadays you can simply just google vignette and you will find a website that tells you everything you need to do and it comes up with a fairly simple looking website type in your number plate uh, the country number of axles you've got emissions class and then valid from and valid to you'll then get asked how you're paying fuel fleet card or credit card then it asks you to type in the fuel card number and then continue again uh, once you've typed in your fuel card it will take you to a page where it just says confirm all your details and then you click the buy button at the bottom you'll then get a massive long confirmation page and at the very bottom you can either uh, exit out from the web page download a PDF version which is what I'll be doing or if you've got a printer or access to one you can just print off so you've got a physical copy uh, right here we go took several attempts to pay at the machine they almost wouldn't let me out what was that point hmm. no idea Hopefully, on about the fifth or sixth attempt at paying or trying to pay, it uh, seemed to accept it so for 20 euro a night. Most of those facilities have been dismantled, like all the male toilets and showers down the bottom are completely gone. Let's see, will you accept my ticket? Ah, it has, amazing, right. Go before the barrier comes down. So it's a two stage exit, get through the barrier, and then the gates open. You have to stop people following you out and being cheeky, not paying. Any cyclists? No, cool. Back to the motorway, down the A4. Should be a case. Cyclists have to give way to us then. Okay, cool. Um, should be about like half hour down the way. And then we go back to the same place that we unloaded at the other day. Pick up some gear today. And then the rest of it's supposed to be coming at a stupid clock in the morning. So I think we're going by Dunkirk on the way back. I don't really know where the customs stuff is for the Dunkirk side. But we'll work it out. And there's certainly a drastic difference between the UK and the Netherlands, that's for sure. Um, um, so I rang the guy up this morning, he said, oh yes, I was expecting to talk to you at some point. Uh, when I get down on site, ask for some guy in the office. Uh, he'll give me a guided tour, it'll show me where the toilets are, where the showers are. It'll take me upstairs to the canteen and show me Jacqueline. Jacqueline knows that I'm coming. She's made me a lunch and a salad for later on today. So they've given me a meal. They've let me use the showers and the toilets and stay on site for the night. This person will give you a tour around. Oh, you wouldn't get that in the UK, never. Oh, there we go, not too bad. Still 15 minutes to go and I'm only a couple of minutes away. Plenty of time. Cycle path, no one coming. Now the priorities can change sometimes. And the easiest way to know who has to give way is to look where the little white triangles are. If the white triangles are on the road, 
then it's you that has to give way. If they're on the red path, then it's the cyclists that have to give way. And there are some occasionally where the cyclists have to give way, but most of the time it is the driver that has to do it. See so like this one, little triangles, so give way to pedestrians and cyclists. But there are none, and then we've got another set for traffic on the roundabout. Again, pulling off, set of white triangles, so we'd have to give way to cyclists. There are none, cool. I'll see if I can get parked in the same place as I was the other day. It looks all nice and empty, so I will. I'll park up here for now, like I did the other day. All those bays are taken, so I'm not going to get on one of those. And, uh, have a wander into the office, make myself known, try and find Jasper, and he should give me a tour of the uh, tour of the facilities. Well, I can categorically say that the UK has absolutely nothing on the Netherlands. Uh, I went in. Shown around, here's the water cooler, here's the toilets, the showers, please use them. I'll take you up to the canteen, see if the lady's up there. I walked in the door immediately. Ah, I've been expecting you. What would you like for lunch? Uh, here, have a egg sandwich, okay. Uh, would you like soup? Okay, have the soup. Got spicy chicken, would you like that? Oh, I don't really like spice. No, okay, have a second sandwich. Um, what do you like to drink? Got fruit juice, water. Fizzy water, uh, yogurt drink, okay, I'll have that. Uh, and there I am thinking I'm done. It's like, ah, what would you like for dinner? Well, for, what? Yeah, I make you dinner now. I put in fridge, you could collect it later. Okay. So I've got dinner waiting upstairs for me in the canteen's fridge. Yes, we, we really need to change culturally in the UK and start looking after the drivers a lot more. So there is most of it loaded. Pretty much the whole truck taken up. Just got a little bit to load at about four in the morning. Uh, and that's me done. Mm, bit dark in here, but... My dinner should be in this bag. Salad wrap. Oh, another sandwich as well. And a drink. Cool. Look at this, I haven't got a plastic fork, dinner plate, serve yet. I've got the lot. Look at that. Healthy as you like. Dutch hospitality is incredible. Hey, well that was definitely needed. That was a good shower. That. But here is my dinner. Time to tuck in and I will see you in the morning, probably after I've been loaded, because I'm getting loaded quite early. Uh, and yeah, off to Dunkirk after that. I've got my GMR sent through. Uh, I've just got to find out where customs is basically, and that's it. We're good to go. Morning. I've just had a phone call a little while ago saying the guys are on their way down. And it's luckily they've rung me and woke me up. Because uh, it was so hot, I've left my windows open all night. And about five minutes after they rang me, it started torrential downpouring. Uh, so I was able to be awake and close my windows in time. Well, there we go. All done, loaded pretty damn quick. And in the few minutes it's taken me to lock up the back doors and do my walk around checks and whatnot. It's uh, got pretty soaking wet. Way earlier than I expected. I thought I'd be there till like uh, five, six in the morning. It's only four o'clock. Bit more driving involved today. Uh, so head back down the A4, and, uh, through Antwerp towards Ghent, turn right up towards Oostend, left down towards Dunkirk, and away we go, pretty much. Should be a straight shot 
to uh, Dunkirk. About three and a half hours or so, three and three quarter hours. And it's going to be pretty quiet. It's quiet at the best of times in Europe, but at 4 o'clock in the morning it's going to be pretty much dead. There we go, on the motorway. All is good. Where do I want to be? be over. Stick with the A4 for now. First sign for Antwerp. Good, that's where we want to head to. And it's also starting to get daylight now as well. Now I'm turning off here, getting towards Antwerp, but if you carried on, you'd eventually pass a place called Wemmeldinger. And if you carried on a bit more, you'd get to a place called Borsela. And those two places are where the depots that to top deck coaches were based out of. So I've come down this piece of road a number of times over the years. Just passing by Ghent now. The rain keeps coming and going. We do have signs for Oostend, which is where we want to head towards next. And there's only one more road after this. France and Dunkirk. Houston. Closing in on France and Dunkirk isn't much further away after that. Last sign just back here said 15 k's. So it'll only be a few minutes from once you cross the border. There we go. France. First time I've ever seen people there. Normally just driving through and out, and there's no one there even. This is us. I'm just going to make my way to the port and try and find where this customs place is. Hopefully. It will be signposted, but if it's anything like Calais, there'll be a tiny little sign that's super easy to miss. So that's Sivat in front. I'm gonna wonder if that's also where Customs is down. Truck parking, uh, nothing about Customs there. Give this a go first and see what they say about so see if they can point me in the right direction if not. See what I can find. Uh, no, this would appear to be just Sivet. No Duan here. But the guy was gesturing up this way and then an arch. So if that means just drive straight into the port, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it's similar to Dieppe where they just do it as you check in, maybe, I don't know. Why 
is one that way and one that way. I'm checked in, he says customs is right up at the far end here. We will see. seem interested. Maybe they are. Give a quick look in the back of the trailer. I would be surprised if there is anyone in there. It is locked and packed full. T-I-R-A-T-A. First sign for customs at last. At the terminal building, 500 metres. Cool. What ferry am I on? Oh, 10 o'clock, perfect. Hey. Terminal building, number two, I've got to go into these soon, okay. Terminal building. It literally in the terminal building or this place? into the terminal building and customs is in there I suppose no idea cool well, I'll have a walk in and see if I can find something else no idea where you find it otherwise what an absolute faff that was. Take me to Calais any day. Um, so what happened? Yes, walked in. The carne section or the custom section is there, and it was completely shut up. No signs of life. No nothing. There's a phone number stuck on the front of it, on the glass. So rang that, and it just gives you like, an automated message that repeats twice, and then the phone hangs up. So. That's useful. Um, I keep walking round. Can't see no one. There's all fencing round here, so you can't get out round the back to try and find another customs bit. Uh, luckily, the cleaner, their station's right next to the customs area, and she must have overheard me talking to the guy upstairs. So she's like, "Oh, do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there, the phone over there. Okay. So you got customs on one side." The phone that you need to use not only doesn't have any signs, it's on the complete opposite side of the room. Uh, no sign, no nothing that tells you it's there to call up customs. But anyway, then got through to someone, got a car now, okay, wait there, 10 minutes, a couple of people turn up, oh, I've got a car now, do oh, okay, open up the shutter make a couple of phone calls because I don't know if they really knew what they were doing finished on their phone call stamp 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 rip the bit out that they need and we're all good to go to the left okie doke
break I see you on the other side normally I don't really bother looking at the customs thing now because if you're on a car now you're gonna have to stop at customs um, but I just happened to walk past on the boat just now and it says I'm a green light I can just carry on straight off the boat and do nothing so I thought, well, hang on hang on that ain't how car knows work I have to stop I've got to close the book, otherwise it's not done and dusted. In Dover, on a trip, Arid Hook of Holland, Dunkirk Dover. and that you leave via one way and come back another. So the same as always, into Motis, get the uh, carne done. See if they've uh, found a way of speeding up. Or if they're as slow as always. Because everywhere so far has been pretty quick. They've just done it straight in front of me as I've stood there. Motus and Sevington are the odd ones out in this regard, they don't do that. Motus is looking pretty empty this morning, this afternoon. Fingers crossed, they'll be pretty quick. I don't think I've ever seen it that empty before. In theory, we should be pretty quick this morning. Should be it. There we go, carne is done. That's all the paperwork taken care of. I've just got to drop this first lot off now. And there we go, we're away. I think the guy rang me up just as I got on the boat. I said he was going to get or try and get a crew down there for two. It's 20 past 12. Should be plenty enough time to get there. We've come up all the way along the OE20, and this is the South Circular. So turn off on here, turn to the right. Follow the South Circular for a bit, and, uh, and turn right again onto the 206, I think it is. Once I've come up this way a bit, and uh, where I want to be is not too far away at all. Here we are, back again. Let's see if there's a shouty man today. Somewhere in, in there at the minute, there ain't really enough room for any more than one truck to stay out on the road and uh, let him do his thing. So I'm gonna have a wander up and uh, let them know that I'm here and we can uh, make a decision from there as to what we're doing, when, how, why, when, blah, 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 blah. Let's try 
again. Get unloaded as soon as we can. That's that eventually done. It was a bit of a nightmare up front trying to pick everything out, but we're there. Uh, where am I staying? Haley Road Truck Park, literally five minutes around the corner, which is good because I've only got three quarters of an hour of drive time, duty time left, more specifically. That was lovely. Oh, get out. All good. Thanks. Thank See ya. No problem. for no real reason. Hey dear me, right, Haley Road Truck Park, pretty much along the main road, and then turn off, easy as. Here we are, eight minutes of driving, not too far away, I think I need to go all the way around the roundabout and off into that slip road there, yeah, Haley Road, that's what we want. Should be a man in a van with a dog. Spaces are easier to get into and out of than others. But since it's so quiet, as it's Friday, I don't think it's going to be too round, so I'm not going to have too much difficulty. A few more inches and we'll call that a day. The roads should be fairly quiet tomorrow because it's Saturday. I'm ahead of schedule slightly because that's both lots were supposed to come off tomorrow and I've already got one lot off today. So tomorrow's lot. Get that done in the morning, cruise down to Crawley and then just sit and wait all afternoon until tomorrow morning to load up. Back to base and then I've got day off again. Whee. The doggies are out. Whoa. Wave my man goodbye. <clears throat> it's busy for a Saturday morning. Hoping traffic was going to be a little bit quiet, but I still have given myself an absolute ton of time to uh, get to my destination. I should have enough time to get there and then still have breakfast. We want to stay on the M25, go all the way around to the A1. Should have enough time to top up with uh, some overpriced fuel and then head down the A1 towards. Where I need to be. Don't know why that fuel pump does that, but uh, they all do here for some reason. Good and clear, lovely. Back to the 
back to the roundabout, straight over, down the A1, somewhere down there is where I want to turn off, and then we won't be too far away from uh, the place that I need to be. Fingers crossed, much like Boreham Wood, it's quieter on a Saturday than it is during the weekday. These roadworks might be a bit of an issue. To turn left here, but it's looking like it might be a little bit on the tight side. Let's see what happens. I can use the junction opposite, swing it wide that way. There we go. And then back around. Down a bit. They've moved down, okay. It's not as tight as it was then the other day. That also means if I can turn around, I can come out this way now. Cool. Further up the yeah, on just the other side of this van. Cool. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze, but we should be able to get in. Stick it on break for now, since we've got another 50 minutes until the crew turns up and I'll have breakfast and then we'll get unloaded. Job done, both lots dropped off. Apart from that I know from the fact there was a circular table loaded on it because it stood out from all the rest. I don't remember seeing a circular table come off, so potentially KB nick that one. Good. So back around the block like we did the other day. On the A5, head down, pick up. Uh, whatever it is, north circular, down to the A40, hang a lane, back out to the M25, and then on to my next job. Nice and easy. Around the hang a lane. And on to the A40. And there you go, that's how you do a wedding and take it over abroad. And, uh, get it set up. That's also more specifically how you get an Arctic uh, into a venue at Amsterdam. You don't. You get it transshipped onto rigid. But other than that, I think that's it. Job done. I'm off to do another job ready for someone else to take in Monday. So, until next time, see you then.